It's, yeah. It feels like punishment to me. It feels like punishing that child yeah. for something that essentially probably isn't their fault. It's lack of information, lack of education. That's the household they've grown up in. And so I think to remove that child from... Well, it's probably, well that's cruel, uh, ..could be a loving child. family. Yeah. You know, I, I think a lot of parents aren't intentionally neglecting their child. I'm not saying, you know, obviously some do, and if it's a case of, of abuse, then obviously that child has to be removed. But I think education is key, but you've got Absolutely. to get them young, Denise. And I think also... I think um, we tend to think sometimes that buying the fast foods is cheaper, and it's not. No. You know, I mean, I've learned... I've had to sort of teach myself to cook, and I've involved Betsy in come into the kitchen and cook with me and we oh, we even started growing our own vegetables because I was really aware of the fact that when she was little some of her friends didn't even know what a real vegetable looked yeah. like this yeah. is buying like frozen vegetables mm. that a real organic carrot when it's all misshapen and everything they didn't know what it was so I was really aware of it and I've had to teach myself and actually when you do buy a produce and you cook and you get your kids involved it goes a long way because mm. I put I freeze a lot of the food you know and it, it lasts much longer than just buying I think these children are much food. more likely to um, to eat things as well if they've yeah. been involved in the preparation but that brings me back to my point of you it's about education but waiting for secondary schools too late in my oh, opinion far too you've late. got to get little. into primary schools literally when they're five years old and start teaching them about food where it comes from what it looks like how to peel it chop it cook it and the and parents have got to be not. part of the school process yeah. and if they you know i'm really in favor of breakfast clubs i'm really really in favor of children to school day being extended so ch children eat more meals together at school. I want to ban packed lunches. I think they're ridiculous. <laughs> and I want the school day to be in, 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 to include cooking and the preparation of food. Yeah. Can you imagine how much resentment it would build up from the child when they grow up, having yeah. been taken away from the yeah. parents and blaming Shocking. them? And blaming them. Well, we've, we asked you in our, in our poll today, should obese children be removed from their parents' care? 88% uh, of you say no. Only 12% yeah. say yes. Um, Sue says it's a bit extreme removing from the parents. Surely they just need to give the parents help with cooking and diet um, yeah yeah that's kind of yeah there's there's a lot there um you know how awful to remove a child simply because of their weight how about educating the parents well exactly. and on it goes so yes thank you very much for getting involved in that